When we talk about who the current best player in the game is, some might bring out Mike Trout, Randy Johnson, or hell, even Albert Pujols. But it's neither. It's the 65 overall funny looking player I have playing second base. That's right, Caps are back and they are still insanely overpowered. I mean, he may not look like much on paper. So these are his actual stats. Still not insanely overpowered yet. We still gotta get the diamond archetype. And then I have some really low tier equipment on him. But that's how you boost him up. And that's what we're gonna go over today. I'm gonna show you guys the best equipment that you should pick up to put on your cap so that he can reach his full Super Saiyan form. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, we post daily MLB The Show 22 moves, tips, and gameplay. So if there's anything MLB The Show related you wanna know, you'll probably find it on this channel. Also, if you wanna see a video going over the best cap archetypes, get this video 20 likes and I'll post it. So this is all the equipment you can put on your created player. You can essentially put one for everything and every single thing's gonna give him some sort of attribute boost. Granted, if if you go with the most expensive version for each thing, this is gonna be pretty costly. But this is also a card that's gonna be on your team all year long, so you don't need to do it all at once. Just keep in mind some of these items I'm about to show you. So we're gonna start out with the most important aspect of hitting, and that's the bat. We got this Shohei Otani bat equipped to our player right now. I still think that's the best one. And a lot of you probably already have it and don't realize it. If you pre-ordered the Digital Deluxe Edition of the game, you actually got this bat and it will give you plus eight power and plus eight contact to your create player. We compared that to a lot of the other bats, it's gonna be plus seven on both sides, plus six, plus six, and these are all diamond bats as well. So this gives you the best boost of power and contact. But if you don't have that, there's still some really good bats here too. They're just gonna cost you about 15K. These bats will give you a little bit more power, the plus one power, so nine, but it gives you minus three on contact. So I don't think it's worth it. I think the Shohei Otani is the best one, but if I had to pick one, I go with one of these two, either Devictus Tatis 23 or the MVP Pro Fit Maple, just cause they do give you that plus nine power. And as we know from previous MLBs, power's always gonna be the meta, so more of the merrier. So moving on, we got batting gloves. And you can just look at the most expensive one. You'll see these Jordans give you plus six contact, plus five power. And I think these Nike Trouts are the exact same thing. But let's talk about these Asics Gold Stage for a second. One, they're about 10,000 stubs cheaper than the Jordans. You'll get a little bit less contact, but you get more power than the Jordans have. And like I said, power's the meta every single year, so why wouldn't you go with something that gives you more of that? Plus three band clutch, but the plus seven vision. The vision's what makes your PCI a little bit bigger. That's what helps with all the foul tips. So I think with this giving you more power and then a bigger PCI for about 10,000 stubs less than the most expensive one, in my opinion, these are the best one. I always go for some that gives me more power. Moving on, we got a little bit of fielding. And unless you're some nut job who plays without a glove, you want to give you a good glove that gives you a shit ton of fielding. Because if you're like me, when you're grinding up your cap, I don't do any of the defensive moments. So I get no fielding attributes. All mine's gonna be based off the attributes that I get from the equipment. Oh man, this is a great one right here. The Mastro, it's gonna give you plus 12 fielding. That is huge plus eight arm and plus seven accuracy. And if you're a pitcher, you're getting plus 10 Ks per nine and plus six hits per nine. Obviously you're gonna do the sun now for it. So it's gonna be about 30 K. So pretty expensive. Now a lot of this is gonna depend on what position you play. Are you a pitcher? Are you a position player? Cause if you're a pitcher, you're gonna wanna look for something that gives you a ton of hits per nine and Ks per nine. Or if you're an infielder, you're looking for something that gives you the big arm and then the fielding boost. I think 45 K is insane for a glove. Even if you get the sell now for 30k when you have this ua flawless right below it that's going for 16k sell now and you're only losing minus one fielding minus one arm same arm accuracy plus one case per nine plus one hits per nine so if you're a pitcher this is definitely the one to go but even if you're on more on the offensive side of things this one is gonna cost you a fortune less and you're only losing minus one fielding minus one arm you're really not gonna notice minus one in a game so in my opinion the ua flawless Flawless is the way to go with this. I think this glove's just too expensive, even though the attribute boost is insane. Cleats are another big one. This one's gonna be the one that gives you a lot of speed and a lot of stealing. And very similar to fielding, if you're like me and you just skip all those moments and just hit, you have no fielding boost. So I'm gonna get all those attribute boosts from cleats. But like, man, how can you not go with something that gives you plus 14 speed and plus 10 steal? That's a ridiculous boost right there. And it's only gonna cost you about 23 and a half 
half K. I don't think that's too bad at all for something that's gonna be that big of a difference. We're talking about going from a 76 speed to a 90 speed player. I think that puts in perspective of how big of a boost that truly is. You'll see a noticeable difference. And on top of that, I don't think 23 and a half K is that bad for this. There's a lot of really good cleats though. This one gives you plus 12 speed, plus 12 steel. The Griffey's plus 13 speed. So you're only losing one speed, but you're losing about three steel. And even the gold ones, if you want to go cheaper out the gold one, this one gives you plus nine speed, plus seven steel. But there are a few things where I would always go with the most expensive version just because of how noticeable of a difference you'll actually see with them and speeds being one of them. So I would definitely go with these ASAX gold stage gives you the most speed also gives you a ton of stealing good reaction plus eight stamina and if you're a pitcher it gives you plus five hits per nine but you might want to look a different route if you're a pitcher because you got ones that give you plus six right here. But I'm gonna stay on the safe side and assume most people have position players so definitely go with these ASICs. Catcher's mask we're gonna go through real quick even though I bet there's a lot of people with catcher I feel like that's one of the three positions you should always make shortstop second or catcher. With this it's pretty obvious you just want to look for some that has the most block that's gonna be this one but it's also a lot so I would recommend maybe going a cheap route you lose minus two blocking, which isn't the end of the world right there. There are going to be other ways to improve your blocking, but these catcher's mask are going for about three times less than what this Evo shield is, and it's only a plus two difference. So definitely go with one of the cheaper ones. And as just mentioned, there are ways to improve your blocking. For this one, if you go the cheaper route with the catcher's mask, I would definitely go with this evil shield chest protector so you make up at least some of the difference in the minus two you're losing from the cheaper route you go the most expensive route it's only 1500 stubs and you're getting plus five blocking instead of plus four so you're basically equaling out everything you would get from the most expensive catcher's mask than if you went one of these cheap routes so all in all you save a bunch of stubs and you lose about like one i'd say one blocking more catcher stuff for this one silver go with the best one because the best one is only plus three blocking and it's actually less than what this one and this one are going for that give you less blocking so doesn't really make a lot of sense there but go with the pro srz's just because they give you the most blocking so you've made up all that blocking that you lost that minus two from going with the cheaper catcher's mask. Now we got the elbow guard. In my opinion, this one isn't as important, I would say. These are gonna improve your discipline and your durability. To be honest, durability, I don't really notice it does anything. Where discipline, I believe it helps you with check swings. So while this gives you plus seven discipline and plus six durability, it's going for 23,000 stubs. So while this one gives you plus seven discipline and plus six durability, it's going for 23,000 stubs. So I recommend going with this gold evil shield just because it's 10 times less and how much you're going to spend you only lose minus two discipline which on check swings i promise you you won't notice a difference with that and then you're going to lose minus one durability which once again i don't really know what it does but i'm assuming minus one's not going to make a difference i promise you you're going to notice that you spent twenty thousand more stubs on this over this than you will the actual attribute boost so for this one go with the cheaper version this one's essentially the same thing we got batting clutch and durability for the big one but it's going for about twenty thousand stubs you could go with this one that either gives you the discipline route or you could go with this one that gives you the batting clutch one since we got discipline in the last one i recommend going with the nike bpg just to add some batting clutch to your resume but go with this one it's 10 times less than this evil shield and you're really not going to notice some of these attributes same with risk guard a lot of these that we're getting into you now are just ones that you really don't need to go the most expensive route so you could go with this gold right here and you'll get minus two discipline minus two durability it's just so much cheaper and a lot of the stubs you're saving here you can use to some of the big ticket items like a bat a fielding glove batting gloves cleats something like that that actually makes a significant difference this one's actually funny to me because we got the evo shield right here going for about 17 and a half thousand sell now gives you plus four durability, plus three arm, plus four XL. But look at this Adidas. It's literally the exact same thing. Plus four durability, plus three arm, plus four accuracy. So essentially you're gonna be paying 15,000 more stubs just for the name. This 44 Pro gives you that exact same boost. This Nike Vapor gives you a little bit more arm. So I recommend either going with the Nike Vapor or one of these two. Don't buy this one just for the name. It's so much more stubs and it's the exact same thing. Batting grips is actually a really important one even though it may not seem like one because they give you a boost to contact and a power along with some other attributes on offense. So we've been saving a ton 
ton of stubs with some of the random stuff that you don't need to spend a lot on, like giving boost to discipline or batting clutch. But when it comes to contact and power, that's one you need to spend a lot of stubs on. So between these two, I would go with the cheaper version at the time whenever you buy whatever's the cheapest sell now, because that's going to give you plus four contact plus four power. Once again, that's a pretty big boost. Plus five batting clutch and plus five vision. So these batting grips give you a lot of really good stuff. More power, more contact, a bigger PCI. Eyewear gives you a boost to a variety of different things. So if I had to pick one, I would go with these Oakleys. Plus six plate vision, so you're gonna get a bigger PCI. And then it significantly helps you on the defensive side as well. So you're getting plus five accuracy, plus six fielding, and plus five reaction. They go for a little bit more, about 24,000 stubs. But like I said, you're saved so many stubs. Go with the gold versions of some of those other ones that give you boosted discipline and batting clutch that you can afford to spend more on some of those bigger ones that help boost your player. Another big one is socks. Something so random. Something you just wear for swag in baseball. But it'll give you a boost to speed and stealing. And like I said, I don't boost my speed at all all when I'm actually grinding out the missions. And there's a big difference between these diamonds giving you plus six and plus eight steel compared to these golds, which give you plus three and plus five. And I'd say plus three speed and plus three stealing is very, very noticeable. So I do recommend go with one of these diamonds right here. Once again, whatever cheapest. So right now we would go with these Griffies. Then Ritual's a weird one. It's in the game every year and they have some funky ass rituals, but essentially you're gonna wanna go with some that gives you a boost to contact and power like this Ritual Dual and goes for 21,000 stubs, but you get plus six power, plus six contact. But man, if you have the stubs, this ritual legendary call has been in the game now for a couple years. It gives you plus eight power, plus eight contact. That is a big difference. It's such a huge boost to contact and power. It's expensive. It goes for about 46 buy now, 38 sell now. But if you have the stubs, the boost to power and contact and speed are always the most important. And something that gives you plus eight to power and contact is a huge boost. So I recommend going with this. Or if you want the cheap knockoff version of it, this Ritual Dual Dragon's really good too. It's going for twice as less and it only gives you minus two power, minus two contact. So I go with one of those two if you have the stubs. But if you don't, just get you some that boost power and contact. And I don't know if there is, but maybe speed too but I recommend the first two. But there you have it, man. That is all the equipment I believe you should put on your creative player so he turns into his full Super Saiyan form. That's like me taking a Charmander and evolving him all the way to a Charizard. Makes a world of a difference. Essentially, if you get all the best equipment, your cat will be a 99 overall player already, and they're super OP again. So let me know if you have any equipment that you recommend in the comment section, or if you're a pitcher, let me know and I can also give you some recommendations of some equipment I think you should pick up. I just focus more primarily on offensive positions just because I feel like that's what most people are gonna use. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.